So this is gonna be my six months later review of the Sony WH-1000X M3s. Now I've been using these pretty exclusively for six months, but I'm gonna give you one reason why you might not want to consider buying these right now. Guys, if you're Sony fans, make sure you subscribe, and turn on notifications for more Sony videos in the future. Let's go. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna tell you one reason why you might not want to buy these at the end of this video, but let me talk a bit about my six months experience with these headphones. So first off, when it comes to design, these are basically brand new. There is no wear and tear on them, and that's largely thanks to the carry case which comes with it. Super useful. If you use these when you're transporting these around in your bag, you'll be all right. If you put these in a backpack and they're knocking around, yes, you're gonna see some wear and tear. When it comes to the ear cups here, you can see a few more wrinkles than when they were new, but that just comes with age. And the actual comfort of the headphones is still really, really awesome. When it comes to the flexibility of the headband, the great thing about it is it doesn't apply too much pressure. I've heard people say that it's not enough pressure and it actually falls off your head when you're lying back. I haven't had that problem at all. So of course I updated these every time an update came out. And one of the new additions as well, which is really cool now, which I didn't have in the beginning, is being able to remap the button for the noise cancelling in the ambient mode to Google Assistant and Alexa. Google Assistant was there before, but Alexa's new. And you have to download the Alexa app to actually get that to work. But it's nice to have that there so you can order your groceries uh, from your headphones if you want to. That's pretty cool. So if you guys watch the What Gear channel, you'll know that I still like headphone jacks. And the great thing about these headphones and the way the headphone jack cable kind of locks into the earpiece here, super solid. There's no wobble there. Really, really durable. Over six months, no problems with the cable at all. When it comes to the usability and the touch controls, I've heard people complaining about these not working properly in certain weather conditions. I've not had that problem. I guess if you're out in the Antarctic and these kind of freeze up, then yeah, you might have some problems. But to be honest, for me, no problems at all with the touch controls. Yes, if it rains, you might get some ghost touches there on the side panel. But to be honest, I don't recommend you wear these in the rain. They're expensive headphones, you don't want to damage them. So I've used these for a couple of long haul flights, like really, really long haul flights. And one of the great things about these headphones is that atmospheric optimizer where it'll actually know how far above sea level you are and adjust the pressure levels within the ear cups. And that's really, really cool as well. I've heard people say that after 10 minutes, their ears start really heating up. I can see where they're coming from, but to be honest, it's not that bad. I think people are over exaggerating that just a bit. It would be nice if they were a little bit more breathable, but for me, on a six, seven hour flight, I didn't have that problem. So I guess it depends on the user. One of the greatest things about using these on an aircraft is how much noise it cancels out. It's really amazing. It's actually changed the way I think about plane noise. After about four or five hours of using these on a plane, when you take them off, you can't believe that people are actually sleeping when the aircraft is that noisy. Really, it's quite shocking how good the noise cancelling is on these headphones. And when it comes to making voice calls on these headphones, I've also heard people complain that it's a bit quiet. Yes, it is a little bit quiet. The position of the mic is over here, so it's kind of angled towards your mouth. But remember, it's got to block out all the surrounding noise as well. It's gonna be a little bit quiet, but I think that's something we might see improve in the future just by changing the position of where the mic is. But to be honest, when I get phone calls and I have these on, I don't really like to use the headphones to answer the call because people give you funny looks like you're talking to yourself. And uh, yeah, so I just usually take them off and use the handset itself. But hey, if that's a big deal for you, then uh, you might want to hold fire on these. Now, if you wear glasses, you might want to know how these feel on your head with your glasses on at the same time. I've worn these with sunglasses. It does apply a little bit of pressure over your ears where the arms of the glasses touch your head, but not that much. As I mentioned before, the headband pressure at the top here is not super, super tough like you have on some other headphones. So it's not gonna be massively uncomfortable, but if you're gonna be using these for long hours, then you might wanna take your glasses off. Now I wanna tell you what I think is really, really awesome about these headphones. And the first thing, of course, is the noise canceling. I mentioned it earlier, it's really, really impressive. And I think best in class at the moment, even better than the quiet comfort from Bose. When it comes to the comfort of the headphones, the padding is holding up really, really well. It's just as comfortable as they were at day one. I can't feel any hard plastic anywhere. 
And one of the greatest and most fantastic things about these headphones, in six months, I've probably only charged them less than 10 times because 30 hour battery life, that is insane for a pair of headphones. I don't even think about charging these until it pops up on my phone telling me they're running low. And that's quite a rare thing to see with these headphones. And sound quality on these are just amazing. And I'm not the only person who says this. If you watch other reviews, you're gonna hear a lot of people say that these are actually the best sounding noise cancelling headphones out there. If you listen with the noise cancelling off, the sound quality is even better. So guys, here's what you came for. You wanna know the one reason why you shouldn't buy these headphones. And let me tell you this, the 1000X M1s came out in August 2016, the M2s in June 2017, and these, the M3 in August 2018, so we can fully expect to see the M4 variant being released this year at the EFA 2019. And here's some of the things I think we're gonna see improved on the new M4s. I think we're gonna have better support for Bluetooth where you're gonna be able to connect multiple devices without having to disconnect. So you can just switch from one device to the other much easier. I also think we're gonna see a new accent color here. I would like to see a gold, something like we see on these beats here, a nice bit of bling there on the side would be really nice on these Sony's or even a silver would be good as well. I also think we're going to see better breathability in the ear cups. I had some really nice Steel Series gaming headphones which had these really nice ear cups that allowed your ears to breathe and not overheat inside the headphones and that might also make it a bit more comfortable too. And one more improvement I think we're definitely going to see is an improvement to the mic for voice calls. Not that it's a big deal to me personally but if it is for you you might want to hold fire on these and then get the M4s when they come out. And also if you wait for the M4s, the price of these, the M3s, will drop and that would be the perfect time to pick these up. Right now, I consider these to be the best in class in terms of noise cancelling headphones. And quite honestly, they're the best headphones I have ever owned. I definitely would highly recommend these, but wait a little bit guys, price is gonna drop, the M4 is gonna come out, and I'm definitely gonna be checking them out. And guys, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see the improvements between this and the M2s, I made a video a while back about that. You can check that out right here. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe Stay tuned for more Sony videos coming up. I've got a Xperia 10 Plus here, which I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and a series of videos to follow. See you guys in the next one. Don't be late.